take a look at the first four balls here. And there's the cue ball. Here's the one. Here's the two. Here's the three. And there's the four. The problem I see with this rack is that two ball. And you know, you can eliminate um, shots and patterns by eliminating pockets. We can't shoot that two ball down here in the left hand top corner um, because the five ball is in the path. We can't shoot it in the top right hand corner because the seven ball is in the way of shooting. We technically can shoot in the left hand side there, but I don't like it because you, you, I can't get behind the nine ball there when I shoot the one. Um, and the only other real option is to go two rails behind that two ball. I just don't like it. We're going to eliminate that too. I can't shoot it in uh, the bottom left hand corner because the seven ball is in the way. I technically can shoot it in the bottom right hand corner, but getting from this one back on behind that two to shoot it in that corner is really nonsensical. You're you're wasting your time with that. The only the only other option, the only valid option I see is to shoot this two ball in that right hand side pocket. And the problem with that is that seven ball is really in the game. Um, I'm going to have to be really careful getting by that 7 ball. Um, but once I do that, it looks like it's going to open up because I can easily get back on the 3 in the right position on the 3 to get on the right position on the 4 to get back up the table on that 5 ball. So, yeah, um, if we don't have much of a choice. We're just going to have to be careful getting on this too. Let's go ahead and start this game. Let's take a look at the next four balls. Because of the position of the seven ball, and we couldn't ask for much more than, than what we got, um, we can't exactly get perfect on the three ball in order to get down table a little bit on the four ball. Um, we can get over back up table just a little bit. We're, we're going to be about straight in on the three ball. Um, but it's okay. You still have a makeable shot on the four and a natural angle coming off that four in a natural position is right down back up table on the five ball to get on the six. So we're sitting pretty good here. It's just a matter of getting down and doing it. What's your plan, Scooby? Yeah, unfortunately, we're on the wrong side of the three ball, and we cannot go any further down the table unless we really, really cut the cue ball loose. And I'm not willing to do that. Always oh, stay in control of Whitey. I've said this a billion times. I know you guys understand me. Um, it's okay. We can take a little bit of a long shot on the four ball. We can we can drive into that rail. It's just on the right hand side of the three ball so it's a tiny little bit of a left hand cut not exactly straight in you could stun this back but i'm trying to get a little bit of a better angle on the four ball by going to the rail and just bouncing out while holding it with left hand english so it doesn't you know you don't want the cue ball hitting that rail and coming back up table you want it to pretty much stay in line with where the three ball is now but you only want to come out a little bit on the nine ball. You just want to be able to get past that nine ball. So be careful here. Don't get stuck behind the nine, even a shadow of a nine. Um, and yeah, that, that natural shot from there off the four ball should bring us back down nicely on the five to be able to get to the six. Let's go ahead and roll it, Scooby. <laughs>
it, the problem now um, is getting back up table uh, past that seven ball. The seven ball is kind of in the way of the natural path. So you're going to have to put a little bit of right hand English on this cue ball just to hit that round kind of steer to the right hand side of that seven. And you have a lot of room here between the seven and the nine. So don't go overboard. You don't want to hit the nine ball and you don't want to go two rails. You're just coming straight back up table. That's my cell phone you hear there. And I don't want to mute it out. It's actually in the video. Um, but I don't know how this happened because my cell phone was nowhere near the video camera but the camera picked it up big time i, I like hearing the natural sounds of, of the pool balls um in these videos and if if i try to take it out it's going to take out all the sound so it's just kind of a fluke that we're going to have to deal with um for now let's take a look at the next four balls here and five ball shot is a little thinner than it what it looks like in this video. You'd see it if you were here in person. Um, so it'd be really unwise to try to hold this cue ball up for a shot on that six ball while staying underneath or to the left hand side of the seven. Um, chances are if you try to hold it up you're gonna get hooked behind that seven ball. So you're still going to have to hold the speed of this cue ball up and kill it off that left hand rail. But you're shooting to get between that 7 and 9. And that'll do a couple of things. It'll give you a great angle to get on the 7 ball, which you can shoot in any one of these 6 pockets if you want. You know, take your pick. So you have plenty of options once you're on the 6. Um... The nine ball from there is really easy to get on. And, and I think I'm going to shoot that nine ball in the side. And I'll, I'll show you why I did that once we get to that point. And we're going back to live. So get ready for that cell phone. Sorry about this. Yeah, I have a ton of choices on this six ball. I don't know why I'm jumping down so fast on it. Um, but I saw the rest of the pattern and I just kind of figured let's do this. Uh, no hesitation. Let's take a look at the next four balls. And by the way, there's only four balls on the table. So if you plan this strategy right, um, your thinking is done. It's just a matter of you doing it. On this six ball shot, it's best to shoot for this pocket on the seven ball, so get position for that pocket, and all you'll have to do is bounce off that rail, and you'll pretty much be in line for the seven. I don't like the baby balls a lot, so, and I have a, I have a tendency to overspin balls off the rails and just hit a little too hard. So I'm aiming for this pocket down here on the seven. So I'm just gonna come across the table a little bit and let my stroke out a little bit more than most people would. And that'll get me warmed up for the seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, I picked up my pace a little bit because I see it, feel, and believe it. What am I going to title this video? Hey, this seven ball skids. Uh, you can put it in super slow motion and watch it if you want. But there is a split second where it just kind of, it kind of caught hold of the cue ball and just kind of didn't roll. It just kind of slid. And uh, there's different theories about why that happens, but it definitely did, and it put a little bit of chill down my spine because uh, sometimes they skid off course, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, that was a little bit hairy there. But um, maybe it's just a warning from the heavens to look, just slow down a little bit. I know 
I know you see it, feel it, and believe it, but you're just going to have to slow down, boy. Might be a sign. Could be a sign. I didn't take it, though. I just kept on rolling with it. Here's a controversial shot. Uh, a lot of guys will tell me this is the wrong thing to do, but that's kind of my uh, my motto. <laughs> hey, I'm going two rails back on this uh, nine ball. I'm using that right hand side rail that's naturally going to bounce off of, and I'm spinning it and pulling it back a little extra hard. To hit that uh, left hand side rail down there for a shot on the nine in the side. A lot of guys would just bounce off that first rail and come up on the line for the nine in that corner pocket. And that's fine if you like to do that. My problem is I tend to go a little bit long on that shot. So for insurance, and I have a bigger margin of error, I'm going two rails. Okay, don't do it my way. You don't, well, you can if you want, but you don't have to. I mean, there's no law that I'm putting on the books here that says you have to do it my way. Uh, but there should be. <laughs> As a road, this bottom left, if you want to practice this. Hey, hey, that wasn't a pissy chalk grab. That that was a dang right. I got this chunk grab. Yeah, there's sometimes they get mixed up, but yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not pissed off. I got this game, and it's like, foo, it's over, and I did again. Damn, I'm good. I'm gonna grab this chunk up there. All right, enough of that. Tough times, we're living through some weird tough times. But they either bring out the best in people or the worst in people. So hopefully you can dig deep and let it bring out the best in you if you haven't already done so. If you haven't done so, keep doing it, man. We need more of that. You know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. I ain't no damn preacher. Uh, do the best you can and we'll get through this.